Hello my little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So Clem has been up since the wee hours of the Minyana, just working away, trying to level up her violin skill. I really do want her to get better at this instrument. I think she's very musically inclined, and I just, I don't know, I feel like, you know, it's something she's interested in. She's just not very confident in it quite yet. However, if she does get her skill to level three, this will enable her to be able to become a A student, which I'm really trying to aim for here, people. I'm really going hard, because I just feel like she's very serious about her education and her being an A student just kind of fits the whole fits the whole storyline. So what do we have going on this morning? June is off today. She has the next two days off from work. I think I'm not 100% sure. Let's just double check here. Yeah, she has two days off. But um, Pace, on the other hand, he needs to get up because work is about to start in 35 minutes for him. And he really does need to mentor fitness. But I've just had so many issues with that interaction. Like it just never seems to happen for me. So I'm not going to worry about that too much, but I am going to have him go and kind of just start getting ready. Uh, what else is happening? Oh, <laughs> so June just got a whim to try for a baby with Pace. A baby with Pace. Like as if four kids isn't enough and two damn animals, you want to add more to your plate, y'all, and have another freaking baby. I mean, after three, like, what it what is honestly like two more you know however I don't think that is something that's very realistic but I feel like she might be feeling that way because Hawthorne is now a toddler and her little girl her youngest is growing up right before her ojitos and that's probably making her feel like she has baby fever I'm not sure well if you guys are wondering like why Hawthorne still has red hair when you told me that she uh her hair was like a a a result of a glitch. I really loved a lot of people coming into Hawthorne's defense and explaining to me that it is probably a recessive gene or something. I think it was, and it can like skip a couple generations. If you guys are interested in hearing like my whole thought process about Thorns, uh, Hawthorne's red hair, you should check out the um, little Foreman makeover video that I did, and I'll link that at the end of this video so you guys can see my whole reasoning behind it and my personal justification as to how Hawthorne's red hair came to be. So I think that was like probably the longest damn damn intro in history. We do have a few things that we need to get done today. Um, I don't really have too much planned for, for June, but we do need to do some like domesticated things like a little bit of laundry, taking care of the pets. What is wrong with this ball? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <gasps> no, Waffle. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, you guys. No, the ball is attached to her abdomen and AKA she's like peeing all over it. Like this feels like such a, a Toby moment. It's not even freaking funny. Look at Sprinkles. So much happier. So much happier. All right. So let's just see how far she ends up going. Oh, well, I thought she was just going to go to the end of the driveway, but it looks like she might be able to um, take her a little bit further than that. Clem, on the other hand, oh my God, I've totally forgot. She got stuck with the violin. She's going to be super freaking late for school. And I did give her a makeover too. So she's wearing a couple new outfits that you guys may see here later on. We should also be receiving the mail today, and I'm really, really, really hopeful that we'll have our postcard in there from our pen pal in Moonlight Falls, which I think will be kind of fun to see. I don't know what's going on here. It says, um, empty the litter storage. Oh, okay. Well, let's go have June empty out her litter storage, and I do think that Hawthorne has just woken up, and she's about to throw a tantrum because she's feeling super hangry, just like June. She absolutely loves food. So instead of worrying about the litter box right now, I'm just going to throw, <clears throat> I'm going to throw Hawthorne in the high chair and give her some yogurt while we go and clean up that litter box. Even though our maid's here and I'm pretty sure she'll do it, but we'll see. I don't really trust that maid. I don't know. She has, she's got something going on. You know, I feel like she comes here, she takes some money, but she doesn't do anything. Not to mention our house is a freaking pit because we have all these like unfinished projects that we have to do. Like here's Nixon's solar system. Um, I think she is going to go and actually, yeah, no, she's going to go. Yeah, perfect lady. I love it. She, she did it for us. So we've got a solar system for Nixon. We've got uh, Clem's um, school project air pressure rocketry, which I did not know actually gives her the rocket science skill. I know. I don't know what she's going to do with that in the future or how she's going to apply that to her, um, job of choice, but 
maybe she will. And then over here we have the chemical reaction volcano. Um, and this is Maddox's to complete. And right now it just looks like a freaking placenta. Like it just, it's, it's just mush. There's nothing going on here, but, um, he's, I, I, I love him. He's just so stinking cute. So Hawthorne is now finished and we're going to pick her up, spend a bit, a little bit of time with her, maybe even go and do some flashcards or make funny faces. I don't know. I, I want to really try to be like the best parent I can possibly be to her. Um, and I don't think having another child is in, is in the cards. First of all, Household wise, y'all, we are just maxed out. Like, there's nowhere we could fit another child. Um, but if I can make it work, what do you guys think? Should we have another child or is June done? And if she's done, should we tie her tubes? <laughs> I'm so sad. I can't even believe that we are actually at that point where June is done um, having children. And, you know, now it's now it's time to finish raising our babies and see them get older. You guys, I think there's something seriously wrong with Waffle now that Paul is around her waist. Daxton McNeil, I'm starving. Do you want to go to Captain Rodrigo's Cafe? No. When Pace gets off of work, which I think is in about a couple hours, he wants to take June to Rodrigo's. And I think that would be super cute. It might be um, a little bit of a... Uh, like brunch or lunch and dinner type of date but it, it'll be nice and I feel like they need to do more things like that especially because you know they don't really get the opportunity to do that very often uh Clem is getting a text at school and it says hey welcome to Sim City high swim team uh try starting a gathering from the club panel in the lower right so apparently she has um swim lessons probably not today but we'll say tomorrow so we'll have her go and meet up with her team I, I didn't really get a whole lot of dialogue about like like, well, maybe I did. I just probably should go back to that video. But I didn't feel like a lot of you guys are telling me uh, very much about, like, Clem's bully situation as to, um, like, how they're going to get along in the future and kind of what that looks like. But I did get a lot of, a lot of um, feedback about Hawthorne's hair, which I thought was really interesting. I don't know why she's, like, such a hot topic. Like, seriously, she's like the Kylie Jenna baby of the Sims, you know? It's just, she's been getting a lot of slack. And I love her. I think she's darling. I think she's June's. Mini me, I think she's perfect. I love her, you know, but then again, that's just me. So what I'm going to have her go do is probably go upstairs and play a little bit with her building blocks or maybe we can take her stuffed animal down and she can go play. Oh, wait, hold on. This has some sort of emotional aura. Well, we're going to have her go and babble to her teddy bear while June goes down into the basement and works on the laundry. See, we had all of this laundry that needed to be done and I swear to you, this lady doesn't do anything. So we're going to unload and set laundry down. Um... Okay, so that we can actually get some other stuff working. And Sprinkles is just the perfect family dog. I love how she, like, follows June everywhere. So is there any laundry in this one? Nope. Okay, before we go to Rodrigo's, and since June is really hungry, this is a perfect opportunity. We're going to come up here, search some pockets, and then we are going to add to washing machine. These clothes are already clean. How are they already clean if they're in the freaking laundry basket, y'all? <laughs> I mean, like, somebody explain this to me. They're not clean because if Pace put them in the laundry basket instead of folding them and putting them away, I'm about to have a freaking... I'm about to have a complex. Well, I found $7. I mean, <laughs> find us, keep us. So should Nixon invite over classmate Candace? You guys, the last two days, Candace and Nixon have been so close, like... They're always hanging out, and he, she always... Is this Monty? Oh, it is Monty! Oh, my God, he's a stray, you guys. What happened? I'm having an episode. Oh, my God. This It's so funny that Nixon doesn't like Monty. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come over here and offer your friendship to Monty. At least we can still be friends with him, even though he's technically a stray. Oh, that is so sweet. I mean, he doesn't have to be completely out of her game. It's just we don't technically... Um, have him as a part of our household. But Nixon and Monty are going to be friends again. Watch. You'll see. Hopefully, the more that um, he socializes with him, the more often we'll see him. So where's Candace? She was supposed to come over. And I was explaining to you guys, like, how close her and Nixon are getting. But June is over here trying to cook something. I think it's in the oven right now. We have a text emergency. Uh-oh. I texted somebody, but they didn't get back to me, and it's been like an hour. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wait for them to respond. Are you serious, girlfriend? <laughs> like, don't be, don't be that person. Nothing bugs me more than somebody who can't just chill for like, you know, half an hour. But then again, I'm that person. So, you know what? 
whatever, it's totally fine. And I just want to address the elephant in the room. Well, not really the elephant because somebody's going to twist my words and think that I called June an elephant. So I was, I was reading some of the comments about uh, people thinking that I'm really harsh on June and her eating habits and all that kind of stuff. And I just want to explain something to you guys. Like I play often from a role play perspective, right? I try to get into my Sims minds. I try to like, you know, think of how they think and feel in certain situations and um, in different aspects of their life. And so often I'm thinking as June, even though I'm talking as myself, if that isn't confusing in and around itself. So when I say that, you know, June wants to lose weight, it's because she does. And she's always struggled with her weight. She's always had that insecurity. And I think that with me getting deeper and deeper into things that could be controversial or, you know, people could, you know, think things about, I feel like that really makes June relatable. And so I just want you to know, I personally don't care how a sim looks. Like, I just don't. That's just me. But if I, if a weight topic comes up or something, especially with her having four children, I think that kind of makes sense that she would feel that way. Um, don't take it personal. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with her. And if she wants to eat a thousand cookies, I'm going to let her do whatever she wants. And I think in her perspective, she's realized that she is who she is. She loves food. She loves her relationship with food. I mean, she's a culinary artist for God's sake. So I'm going to let the girl do what it is that she wants to do within whatever she deems appropriate, I guess. So she's over here eating freaking sugar cookies, as I just say this, but we are supposed to go and we are supposed to go have a little, a little, a little din din with hubby at Rodrigo's. So I'm going to have her put down the sugar cookie. Not that I care, but I am going to have her put it down, although they look delicious and everybody's enjoying them. And we are going to have Pace go and start up a little, a little romantic rendezvous with his wifey. Something that is much needed and Clem has no problem whatsoever going ahead and actually watching the children. So let's just come over here and see if she is up for it. We're going to go visit Rod's. Oh my God. So the entire, the entire ride home, I was like seeing things that had the name Rod in them and Hot Rod was one. Um, there was like something like fishing rod I don't know and then Rod Stewart it's just it's been it's been a rod week it's been radical you know I mean <laughs> seriously you guys it's ridiculous like I want you not really as a question of the day but I want you to like let me know of I don't know if, if they're puns or just leave me a whole bunch of words that you could put the that you could apply the word rod to. This is Captain Rodrigo's. This is the uh, infamous Rod's Cafe, and I built this myself, which I'm really proud of. I do have a speed build in case you guys want to check it out. And this is available on the gallery at Gen Two Six Oh Six. I don't know. I think it's really cute and cozy. Um, it's a, it could be a romantic hot spot. It could be a great little you know breakfast cafe place you meet your girls, have a couple cocktails. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. And there isn't any CC or anything like that in case you guys are wondering. Although I still have the glitch because I have defaults installed where it does say that I have um, CC on this build, but I don't. So I'm trying to find a good, a good spot to sit. I think over here is pretty cute and romantic, but I kind of wanted a view of like the docks. So maybe we'll have them come sit over here and have Pace request this table. And do you guys like his little his little dad outfit? I love it so much. He looks so freaking cute and check it prints. And also his little his little salt and pepper hair. I love that too. All right, and I don't know where June got that glass of water from, but Pace has just requested a table, and it is an actual dinner date, so that's pretty sweet. So what's this lady's name? Just out of curiosity. Her name is Erica, and I love how we are here at the perfect time. And look at the shine. Oh, my God, his boots are, his boots are gleaming, the blinding. Um, yeah, we're at the perfect time because the sun is just about to set. Eep! How romantic. I love this. They have come such a long way. Oh my God. I love this place. It's perfect. It is absolutely freaking perfect. Okay, June, why don't you pull out your menu, hun, and start figuring out what is that you are going to, um, you're going to eat tonight. So I don't remember what I have uh, on the menu, but for tonight's chef's choice, we got a little lam laminata, lam laminata. <laughs> I can't talk. We all know this. Uh, I can also get a silent film, um, a white nectar blend. You know, I feel like being at all root beer float. I had to add this for June. I knew the June was going to come here. Maybe not today. We'll get the root beer float, but I had to, it's just, it's her thing. Root beer, root beer floats popcorn and cupcakes those are like her that that that's her that's her trinity right there 
All right, so I'm gonna get a white nectar blend. I'm not sure what we're going to be eating, so maybe I should decide my drink after the fact. So I'm not gonna go in for an appetizer. I'm gonna go in for the full course. I think what I'm gonna get is a steak, and I'm pretty sure you do red wine with steak and white wine with pasta. Am I right? I am not a wine connoisseur. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Somebody's probably gonna laugh at me. So we'll do a Monte Vista Reserve Ren, I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna even try because I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. And then I think Pace is going, is gonna go in for the silent, no. Let's do the old York Field Classic. Yeah, he feels like having a little, a little whiskey to add some chest hair in his life. Although I do think he's taken after his dad in that aspect. And hey, I saw that comment about Pace looking like his dad. But although, I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of, he's kind of pixel there, so. <gasps> oh, poor, poor Darnell. He was so damn cute. Okay. And then after, we can have the Chef's Choice Mixed Fruit Tart. Ooh, the bill's already 106 simoleons. Okay, look at him just admiring his wife. Oh, romantic dinner date. I love this so much. I've got to get a picture. <laughs> I swear, I'm like that girl's that girl that's like, wait, let me take a selfie. I really do because these are like the moments we're going to remember. And I hate when y'all get like so like sappy and sentimental and tell me how you think or well, how you how you feel about, you know, this LP ending someday. It just, it breaks my heart because I honestly don't ever want to see this family go away. Like, they've left such an impression and I feel like they've set such a pathway for me, at least, of how I want my characters to be in the future. Like, I want to create more detail-rich characters. It just takes a lot of effort and energy to create a character and I feel like I've really done that with June and Pace and the entire family. So, I don't know, we'll have to see how how it all plays out but i feel like the foremans are going to be here for a relatively long time because we still have so much story to tell and not to mention watching their family grow is quite interesting at least i think so anyway so anyway i am gonna try to like focus on a few things what is she doing she's returning to active lot home girl you are on the active lot now come back over here sit your colito down and wait for your dinner like a normal person oh look at the candlelight ah! Okay, so we need to flirt with our date a little bit. I'm gonna just pause because June is getting happy feet and she just like wants, she just wants to do everything. She doesn't want to listen. There is nothing in the world like a game confirming something you already knew. Juniper has found that red nectar paired quite nicely with her meal. Uh-oh. I don't know how Pace felt about his uh, whiskey though. I don't really think he had any like opposition towards it because he's, he's, he's in a fantastic mood. In fact, he wants to buy a punching bag and also cook pet food, which I find very weird when you're in the middle of eating at a nice restaurant. But we have a couple more tasks to complete in order to make this day an absolute smash. Um, so I'm going to socialize about the meal. I think that's one of the things that he wants to do. And then he also wants to tell June a story. Where is she going? Does she have to use the restroom? I think she actually needs to take a quick little potty break. So we'll have her go and run in really, really, really quick. And hello there. Who is Qu Oh, hello. Cora is actually on a little bit of a date with Salem Benali, which is interesting. And then here's Adam Mo y Yamamoto. Oh, you guys, this is, this is, um, oh my God. Ken, Kengo, what's his name? Kengo's wife. No joke. This is actually Kengo's wife. June's first boyfriend. I don't know if you guys remember that far back. She's actually really pretty though. I mean, super cute. I mean, he did well. He did good. Although I'm not gonna lie, June's like <laughs> several levels to these bezels. But I mean, if it, I mean, he did I. It was a good. Um, okay, I'm really trying to accomplish these last few things now that they have returned to their table. I'm sorry that I have to like pause the game. It's just they're they're moving too fast, they're too quick for me in, in these days. So let's just discuss hydration, I suppose, and then we are going to tell. Um, tell her a story. Let's do a funny story. I think that's the only type we can tell. Uh, we're supposed to socialize about our meal, but I think, unfortunately, I might have missed that train. <laughs> I think I did. I, I think I did. So that kind of sucks. Well, hopefully this will, maybe it will give me something else I can complete. Okay, socialize about meals three times. Have a, have a deep conversation with you. Absolutely. Let's talk about the kids. I wish we could like reminisce about the old times. I think we can. I'm not sure if we're, uh, maybe when we're older. I don't know. I haven't really like experienced too much with elders to be able to know what it is that they can do when they get, you know, older. But I can't wait to see June and Pace like 
in their in their golden years. I think it'll be really cute. And they're talking about cupcakes and trash bags and all sorts of things. All right, let's do one last deep conversation here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, perfect. Yay! All right, so our date is going to be over because we've been here for quite a while. I'm actually going to have them go ahead and pay for the meal. I think the best way to end this super duper successful romantic date would maybe be to take June down by the docks. Uh, we could even go over to the bar for a little bit and do some do some sipping or do something a little more romantic. You know what I've thought about? having June and Pace have like a little ceremony slash wedding here. Um, I don't know if you, if we can because the, the wedding arch is actually out here, but I think they can renew their vows. So that's something I think would be very exciting, especially at this venue. It's just gorgeous. So let's, let's have June and Pace go over here together and maybe they can discuss that because they needed to redo their wedding. Um, as you guys know, they kind of got eloped. It was very rushed because of Pace's parents. And I mean, you know, sometimes you, you make a lot of sacrifices when you're with somebody. But let's go over here because it's really romantic. I think this is going to be perfect. Awesome. And Pace wants to, he wants to have dessert. He wants to woohoo with somebody. But I hate when they say with somebody. Like it should say Jude. You know, like how she wants to have a baby with Pace. Same thing. So... All right, well, I definitely feel like Rodrigo's was a success. I mean, I thought it was great. So the food was delicious. It came out fast. <laughs> I'm really like reviewing my own stupid restaurant. Like, seriously. I don't know. I have play tested it a little bit, but um, I had to move a few things around, I think. I did I? Or was that a different build? I don't know. Anyways, let's come over here and be romantic. We are going to caress his cheek. Oh, my God. Look at how beautiful this is. This is seriously so gorgeous. Oh my God. I love them. I mean, you can literally see like every freaking hair on his head. Oh my God. I never noticed that. I really haven't because to be honest with you guys, I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm in love with what's happening right here. Look at her. She's like, yes, you is my bitch. No, I'm just playing. That's not what she's saying. Maybe she is. I don't know. So it looks like we had a legendary date. There is something special in your Sims inventory to remember it by. Let's have Pace come over here and offer her a rose. That is his thing. If you guys have noticed, he loves to give her roses. So we are going to offer up a rose and then also um, we are going to give her a passionate kiss. And I think with that said, we are going to go and wrap up this, uh, wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye.